1153 prayer line evansville indiana usa there's no serving the meetings how many has been in my meetings before let's see your hand before this meeting here before evansville all right tonight being that i'm host couldn't preach i'm thankful that i have another gift uh huh see see don't need any preaching let god can do the preaching that's right let god do the preaching whatever he want to preach tonight that's the reason he let me be host here the here stands a lady i've never seen her in my life know nothing about her we're strangers aren't we don't know each other never seen one another therefore if the woman's here i never seen her we are years difference in our age maybe raised miles apart but god knows her don't you believe that he knows me now by a vision he can tell me what's wrong with her do you believe that that is this if jesus has risen from the dead if jesus was standing here he'd know what was wrong with her wouldn't he and he said the things that i do shall you also is that right well we thank him for that and we know that he's here and will he do just exactly what he said he would do now i want to talk to her just a minute like he did the woman at the well contact her spirit does anybody here know this woman then you know what's wrong with her then if god almighty will reveal by vision what's wrong with this woman then you'll accept him as your healer will you do it how many will raise how many will do it raise your hand say I believe it i want to talk to her i'm your brother sister i don't know you but when jesus talked to a woman at the well wasn't very long till he find out what her trouble was she had five husbands that was her trouble you ask me be tumor gallbladder trouble i don't know maybe cancer i don't know but he does know and if he can in his power reveal your trouble will you accept your healing you will you will aha uh -huh. you believe i'm able to do this through jesus christ it's not exactly for yourself that shocked you didn't it i see two boys they are aged so they are brothers to you and one of them is fixing to have an operation for it's for rupture and the other has a heart trouble and some kind of a cough asthmatic cough you are a christian but neither one of you one of those are christians you are praying for their soul is that right is that what was said right that was me making the matter but it was him doing the talking you believe you shall receive wh what you've asked for call the congregation hear that if you could raise up your hand good i just didn't know how much when i come out of that building a few moments ago i couldn't whisper and so i come over here by faith see but he's here now come here just a minute i have any father you know the condition of the woman the desire of her heart i pray that you will grant it may she receive just what she she's come for and my hands laid upon her as your servant i ask this blessing in jesus christ's name amen god bless you sister he who could tell me what was in life can tell me what will be in life you go on believing just as just what you had you will receive just what you believe god bless you let's say amen let's say praise the lord god is our object of worship god knows all things so he never leaves us no for six us how many out here hasn't got a prayer card and wants god to heal you raise your hand just raise up your hand and say i want god to heal me you are praying i appreciate you you have faith i know god will help you and will heal you how do you do sir i suppose you and i are strangers yes sir never saw me before all right they're getting your voice on that mic there and if we've never seen one another before no contact in life yet god knows both of us doesn't he he does well he can reveal to me what your trouble is and then if he can reveal your trouble you're conscious that something is taking place because it's the angel of the lord yet i don't know why he let me be horse it's for a purpose sure it is maybe to keep me from preaching 
maybe to hold me back just a little bit. I go like a house on fire. He has to fuck me up once in a while. The brother speaks, Brother Burnham, you do? Same trouble? Well, a lot of times God has to sometimes bring us to a place where we can recognize him. That's right. You have a you have a, some kind of a kidney condition, is isn't that right? And you have a heart trouble. Yes, sir. Brother Burnham speaks to Brother Burnham. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and above all that, one of the greatest things you need is Jesus Christ to be your Savior. Yes, sir. You're not saved yet. You've put it off for a long time, haven't you, Dad? Hair's turning gray, and you know it's fasting for eternity. He's been good to you, hasn't he? You want to accept him now, your estate, and you want to accept him? God bless you, then come here. Heavenly Father, forgive every sin. Grant it tonight, and may the affliction of his body live. Thou demon and cast in Jesus' name, come out of him. And may this man go in peace and be made whole. For God's glory, we ask it in Christ's name. Look here, my brother, your sins are forgiven. You're going to get well, and you're going to live a different life now. Go and join with some good full gospel church and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and God bless you. Let us say, praise the Lord. You believe with all your heart, sister, if God will reveal to me here what your trouble is, will you accept the healing? You are standing there praying. That's only a contact. You believe I'm God's servant. You have a rapture. Isn't that right? You believe you are healed now. Amen. God bless you. How do you do, lady? You have a little baby there. I see a little girl very sick. Do you believe that I be God's servant? You believe that God is willing to make that baby well? Now I can't talk very well, so I have to see a vision. And through that, if God will reveal this baby's condition, the cause of it or the cure of it, if he knows what made it sick, he surely knows how to cure it, doesn't he? If he knows what has been, he knows what will be, doesn't he? And I'm not looking at you, see, for I see it's the baby. Cursed be the devil that's done this. That baby has inherited a disease that's been handed down, which is a special disease that's come into the baby, and it's caused this trouble. Isn't that the truth? Yes. Uh huh. That's what it is. You believe God will make it well? Bring it here to me. Lord, I lay my hands upon this baby, and knowing that it will die sure if you don't help it. And as I lay my hands upon it and bless the little thing, I ask you to heal it. May your spirit come upon it, and may the power of God overshadow the baby, and may the light of God shine into its life. This it cannot help, and may it live as I bless it in the name of Jesus Christ for its healing. For your glory, Lord, I ask it. Amen. Sister, could I talk to you? Oh, yeah. I just seen a block hanging over the baby. May blessing be on your child, so have faith. No matter, don't worry. He's not with you today, all right. I want to hear from you in a ear. I want to hear from you. God bless you. I believe the baby is going to get well. Go believe. God bless you. What medical science can't find, God knows. You believe that? Only thing they know. The baby was afflicted, but before it can be afflicted, it had to have something to cause it. God, who is sovereign, knows all things. All right? Come, sir. Oh, I see. It was your concern of the baby. I seen that light hanging over you. See? I have blessed the baby in the name of Christ. It's your sisters. Believe it, both of you. And brother, you believe the same thing with all your heart that God is going to let the baby get well, you'll see it. The blessing of God is on it. Within the next 72 hours, you'll see such a change in that baby. It will be miraculous. Leave that, see? Aha, uh huh. huh? Sir, so, you believe me? I'm just your brother. But he who is talking at this platform is your Lord. I see a table coming between us. Now the table is removing and you're going from it. But there is something. It's a stomach, an ulcer in the stomach. Is that true? And there comes to be a strange thing about you. Just a moment. I see you are kneeling and praying with your hands up in the air about something to get well. No, it's not. It's to receive the Holy Ghost. It's what you're asking for. You're seeking for. Isn't it? Is, isn't that right? Come here. God, may he receive it in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ. Grant Heavenly Father that he will receive it and be healed. Through Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, brother. Be healed and receive the Go Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, lady, be reverent. Everyone, if you will, what are you wishing for, sir? Do you believe me to be God's prophet? If God will speak to me what's wrong, would you accept the healing? Stand up on your feet just a minute. A lot of spirit there. 
Look upon me as God's servant. We are suffering with TB. Isn't that right? You are healed. Jesus Christ makes you well. May you be made well. Have faith in God. Just believe. You don't have to be up here. You have to have faith in God. You don't need to be up here. Just believe. Just believe. Are you the patient lady? You believe me to be God's servant. Are we strangers? We are. You saw me eight years ago when I was here. God bless you. You must be a nurse. Usually wear white clothes and white shoes, white stockings. You wait on sick people and you have a nervous condition that's bothering you. A diabetic condition. Isn't that true? Come here. Are those things true? If God could heal you in the other meeting of something else, can't he heal you now of this? Just bow your heads. Almighty God, I lay my hands upon this woman knowing that right now you're standing here and I pray that the power of God that raised Jesus from the grave grant her healing just now. I rebuke this sickness. Ask for her healing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. My dear sister, go on your road rejoicing, thanking God. You're going to get all right. God bless you. Let's say thanks be to God. Bow your head if you would. It's a deaf person. Let every head be bowed. Lord, be merciful. Grant, Lord, the healing of this person who comes humbly to you. May the power of God strike her body and make her completely whole. Grant it, Lord. Satan's gauge is evil. I claim victory over him in Jesus Christ's name. May he come out of her. How long have you been this way? The sister says, how long death? For seven years. Do you even know what happened here? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear out of that side. Can you hear me now? Oh yes, I can. You can say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're healed. Praise the Lord. This is her deaf ear that was healed. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're normal. You had a little trouble with unbuttoning your blouse. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. I just done that so it would spur on your faith. That's gone too now. You go on your road rejoicing and be well. Do you love him? Say amen. He's marvelous. Sister Wood, there it is by you again. Uh -huh. I don't have any idea what's wrong with you. Why not now, Sister Wood? Accept it now. Believe him with all your heart. How your faith will pull it there. You believe, sir? Are we strangers? I don't know you. But God knows you. But God knows you. I want to ask the congregation, visions have awakening. The Lord couldn't talk with Daniel unto him. Do you realize that Daniel saw one vision and couldn't not straighten out of his bed for several days? You all know it. God knows this man. I don't. We are total strangers. But God knows all about him. He knows all about me. If I've testified the truth, if Jesus Christ was standing here, he could tell what's wrong with him. Tell why he was and heal him. But as far as healing him, Jesus has already did it when he died at Calvary. The man's faith, and that's why he's here, is to get more faith to believe God. Hallelujah. Look unto me, sir. The reason I say that, the real meaning, I want you to all understand. Elijah said it to Jehoshaphat, to the rest of them too. If it wasn't, I respected Jehoshaphat. I wouldn't even look at you. Peter and James said, look on us. In other words, is to attract your att get, uh, attract attention. Now, if God can help you by revealing what's wrong with you, or whatever that he wants to, without telling, will you accept Jesus as your healer? Now, the man's going away from me. I see a house white. It's a stomach trouble, a stomach trouble. A stomach condition that's in the man outside stomach calls from a nervous condition it's way it's come way back is that the truth sir is that the truth would you raise your hand now if god knows whatever he said that's the truth isn't it i don't know you if i talk to you five minutes longer or a few minutes longer it would go on back into why he's standing there or something else when i talk to the person then that happens. You believe that. Does the audience believe that? Let me talk to the man just a little. Just keep looking this way. Believe him with all your heart. No, here was the vision. What was it? What was there? Something wrong with the midsection here. 
something about eating or something another about a stomach or something now you are aware that something is going on isn't it now that won't hurt you have you seen the picture of that angel of the lord he had them here selling them tonight that's what it is on you now you are a man we are both here as christians trying to help one another i'm trying to help you to receive jesus as your healer you you i see a woman it it's your wife and she's holding her side there's something wrong you got a little girl the little girls got a stomach trouble too a, lit, a little girl three or four years old and she is uh, is that the truth you believe me to be his prophet go put your hands on your wife and baby go and eat what you want to jesus christ makes you whole god bless you god bless you and be with you you believe you believe with all your heart if god without a vision or will just show me what's wrong with you accept your healing you have heart trouble for one thing and you got a female disorder for another thing had it for a long time you believe that god heals you now you accept your healing then go off the platform rejoicing saying thank you lord jesus god bless you come where is the lady that was healed just now lady call her attention to me look here just a moment just stand right there just a minute what was your trouble what was you healed of aha uh -huh. that's all right just go, go ahead thank you there was a woman standing before me she was a mother do you hate nervousness it's a mental nervousness you're always upset the devil's tried to tell you that you have crossed your separating line many things just get so tore up and especially in the evening and afternoon isn't that right you get real nervous you tire real quickly have to sit down can't stand up yes that's right it's a nervousness come here you believe god gave me the authority if he can make the blind to see do you believe he could we can cast that away from you let me have your hand almighty god i hold her hands she is your child my sister have mercy on her satan come out of her in the name of jesus christ leave the woman that's it lady will you do as i tell you to do go out of here just singing and rejoicing and happy think nothing about it it's gone from you you're going to be well do you believe reverend if you can just a minute it's very difficult to understand get ready for surgery you got a tumor you believe god can prevent the surgery do you believe that's what around you now is healing you it is just go on your road and thank god for your healing come sir how do you do sir heart trouble another thing stomach trouble isn't that right you want to eat you accept jesus as a healer go eat what you want to then god will be with you and feed you here as this woman coming satan is tiring the audience don't be suspicious walk just a little closer with you sister now here is a black shadow see that little woman sitting there with a black hat on something strange was taking place then wasn't it lady felt strange you got female trouble she has to is that right female trouble that's right you are both healed god bless you jesus christ heal you do you believe as you're coming if god will reveal it if jesus christ was standing here he'd know what was wrong with you that's right it's a blood condition i see you are blood dropping down it's diabetes is that right you believe god will heal you you believe god will fill you with his goodness his holy spirit and make you you live go receive both of them in jesus christ's name go i pray that you heal her god bless you sister do you believe it left you as you come across the platform it did god bless you amen let's say thanks be to god you believe with all your heart are you believing there it is right there on the lady again yeah it's the lady next to her same row yes sir yes um she's right by you sister there's that light right above you stand to your feet you suffer with a hernia rupture you believe he heals you now god bless you go home well have faith you believe what kind of uh kind of have a trouble getting up stiffening arthritis and so on is that right you had on these same clothes he was trying to move down the other day something made you so stiff 
you could hardly get your leg over a step is that right i'm not reading your mind but that's the truth isn't it all right it's gone from you now go home rejoice and be thankful to god amen you believe him you got heart trouble sir believe god made you well go god in jesus name heal him and may he go home and just and get just what he needs in jesus Christ's name i want you to write me brother you do that you will get a new heart and be made well be reverent look here on me some of you in this section go to believing down in there somewhere somebody's in the back way back believe you believe lady with all your heart you believe god can reveal to me what your trouble is if he can then he's going to heal you is that right if i lay hands on you you'll get well you have arthritis come here lord help her i pray that you will heal her in the name of the lord jesus may she be made well with god's power i ask that you'll heal her in the meeting in jesus name amen raise your hands my sister clap your hands together now raise your feet up and down raise your feet up and down it's gone now you can go off the platform whole shouting rejoicing let's say praise be to god here there it is again everybody i see a little girl and she's a little bitty thing she there's something wrong with her she has a it in her nose there she is she's got a hay fever that's right well jesus christ makes you whole honey god bless you aren't you the mother of her is that right heart kidney trouble is that right heart trouble and kidney trouble christ makes you whole too so you can go home and be happy god bless you have faith in god now i challenge any of you to believe that spirit was pulling her excuse me i'm not mixed up but i something what was where was that little girl was just healed is she where she where is she at yes yes that's all right all right just a moment that demon's disturbed He's calling, screaming for help from others. Be reverent. Looks like you could see that, see it moving here. It's a light. Lady, you sitting there praying. You have sinus trouble, don't you? Yes, both of you. The two, one next to you also. You have sinus. Go home now and get well. Jesus Christ healed you. God bless you. He's standing by that other lady. Yours is a colon trouble in the colon. Is that right? You accept your healing. He makes you well. Go home and be well. Come, lady, as you're coming, do you believe with all your heart? You believe me to be his servant. With all your heart, come here just a minute. Life hasn't been very bad at least for you. You've had a lot of trouble. And recently, too, I see a dark spirit coming with you, following you. There's always been something wrong. You are a temperamental person. You are always building bridges you never cross, taking other people's troubles. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. I'm not reading your mind, but your life, you couldn't hide. Neither could anything else in here. One of your greatest de physical defects now is a stomach trouble. You can't eat because your stomach's drawn up like that all the time from a nervous condition because you to have a septic ulcer. And when you belch up your food, it makes your teeth really ache like that. You thought it was gallstones. But it isn't. It isn't gallstones. It's an acid out of your stomach. How many in here has stomach trouble? Stand to your feet right now and be healed with this woman. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand. As your poor and worthy servant, I rebuke every devil power that's holding these people. And every one of these demons now who's pulling out here, may they come out of the people I rebuke them that they leave these people. May they go, eat, and be happy. In Jesus Christ's name, I ask his blessing. Amen. God bless you, every one of you. Go eat what you want to. You too. Uh, you are healed now. Go and be happy. I tell you, Christians, I just don't know which way. The whole thing looks milky to me out there. It's your faith. It's your faith that's doing it. If you believe me to be a servant, do what I tell you to do. Accept your healing right now. There's not a one of you here, no matter what's wrong with you. If you raise and believe on God's son, 
right now for your healing. You can have it right now. Surely I tell the truth. God is vindicating is the truth. Do you believe? Then let's everyone stand to your feet. No matter what's wrong with you now, get up anyhow. Lord, I ask you to heal every one of these people. May your spirit move over them, rebuking every devil. And may they be healed. Death now, every one of them may sickness leave and the power of God take its place through Jesus Christ's name.